My best friend Dan, which is really cute. How <laughs> did you think about that? <laughs> well, hey guys, welcome back. I have a special guest here with me. Me, Will. I, I, I thought you were going to say my name then, so I was like... Everyone knows you. Introduction, but no. no. there's literally no point in introducing you because everyone knows you. Yeah. That's how popular you are. Cool. It's true. Uh, if you can't tell, we have a different background than usual, and that is because Squillian just moved! Yay! Yay! And sort of me too. Like, I kind of moved with you. Yeah. Our plan all along was that we would kind of just keep our own apartments in different cities, so we'll... Um, has a London place with a couple roommates and me also as a roommate and then I have my LA apartment and Will is sort of my roommate there sometimes and I'm sort of a roommate here and it's kind of a back and forth mishmash wonderland of fun and yes. travel and jet lag. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions on Twitter about that um, and in general about how we do it so I thought we'd answer that question. And we also did a video over on Will's channel where we were building IKEA furniture because we had that idea actually yes. when we lived, when we first moved into the Venice place. Yeah. And I was like, that'd be such a good idea. But then you get so frustrated building it that you feel like you don't even make a good video out of it. But I think that's what we rolled with this time. Yeah, and we were also filming for like two hours, I think. I'm having to edit that today, so. Good luck, babe. Hopefully by the time this video is up, it would have been edited and be on my channel. And then you can go click it in the description box or I'll add a card somewhere so that you can go check it out. So we did that and then I thought for solidarity we could make a video over my channel because you haven't seen Will's face very recently. Um, so I asked you guys on Instagram and Twitter if you had any questions for us, any topics you wanted us to discuss. And she's gonna do it now! You can only read one book for the rest of your life. Whose book would you choose, yours or Will's? Julia, that's how you start a fight. I thought that's a, yeah, like a loaded question. I would definitely read yours though. What do you mean? I would read your your book because it's... Oh, uh, I thought it was like ambiguous. I thought it was like any book. No, no, no. Mine or yours for the rest of your life. Oh, I read your book. No. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Well, I'm not going to say I'm going to read my book. <laughs> like, what kind of asshole am I? But you're allowed to be honest. I have logic. I have a logic. But reason. I loved your book, so... I know, and that's very sweet of you. But look, this is my logic. The, your book, oh wow, I just realized I had a bunch of lip glosses in here. I'm gonna sit on those. Yeah. yeah. The reason why I would choose yours is because even though it's curated by you, it's written by like thousands of people. So like I would read yours because it's not like I'm actually reading just one Yeah, and it's not, it's not like it's really, like it's not even really my book, it's like everybody's books. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that kind of works. So I kind of like that because then I'm not just like reading my own thoughts over and over again. I would go crazy. That's true. Yeah, I guess you have different opinions. Yeah, things. which I like. So I would read yours book. Yours book? Yours book. Your book. And I think that you should also say that you would read your book because then you're reading everybody's book. That's true. Yeah. I think that's sweet. How do you deal with living in LA and London? As we've said, we are in two different kind of continents. Um, Everywhere. We never everywhere. stop. It's all over the place. <laughs> Once again, we've always said we sort of do long distance, but we don't know if we can necessarily consider it long distance because we don't go huge swaths of time without seeing each other. Yeah. Um, but we try to do a couple months together and then two or three weeks apart, up to a month, and then we get back together. We try to set like a date so that we're not apart for a super long time, which I think is really important. It's something you always said, like you need something to look forward to. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I like living in LA. I like living in London. I think if I had to make one my forever home, like, you know how when you talk about like, adopting a pet, it's like you're giving them your forever home? Yes. I hope that I could get adopted by London at some point. Because oh. I really like London. Yeah, London's a very cool place. Mm -hmm. I say that looking out at the grey, rainy sky. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's, it's lit in London. It's lit. It's lit. Describe each other's fashion sense in one word. She is... Denim. Best of both of us. Yeah, just denim. Denim. She is... Uh, chic and poppy. One word? Uh, well, that's, I think that's, you can't do that. Uh, oh, sorry, I scratched. I scratched. Okay. Yeah, it works. She's quirky. And you are minimalist. Minimalist. That's what I would say. 
Quirky, minimalist. Quirky, minimalist. He's the backdrop of my art. You know what I mean? Ain't that right? Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> Wouldn't do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Touching me. <laughs> What's the longest time you spent apart from Will, and how do you cope? So I guess he this doesn't. No, I don't. Spoiler alert. I'm really bad at it. I think I'm gonna be okay. Like I'm such a raging optimist that I'm like, I'll be fine. I love being alone. Living alone is the best. And then I go home and I'm just like weepy for like three weeks. Oh. I think the longest we've ever been apart was like a week, uh, a month, and like a week. That was like the beginning of our relationship. Yeah. yeah, we did do that. We did that. Yeah, we did do that. And we did that recently too. Last year when I was on shoot, it was about a month. Yeah. I'm about to do that again for the next. The entire summer. It's okay, make it work. Yeah! Mr. Student Body President, uh, we're shooting three seasons this summer, so we're about to do it again. It's gonna be fun. Yep, I'm going back next week, and um, then I'm in LA for the next like 45 days of shooting. But in re realistically, it's two and a half months. But you're gonna come visit me, and we're gonna hang out, and it'll be fun. You don't really cope. You play a lot of video games together, but other than that... No, we play a lot of video games together. We do. We play a lot of Overwatch. We play Overwatch, we play Minecraft. Yeah. We actually play Minecraft. We do play Minecraft. <laughs> Although we really screwed up our world last time. We didn't. We messed something up, didn't we? No, no, no. Our um, Minecraft world is amazing. I thought we destroyed it. We have like it. a tr fucking treehouse. Yeah, and we have like... I have chickens and... So what, how did, when did we destroy it? I thought something happened. I got lost, remember? I couldn't make my way. Found you though. Okay, I'm gonna go over onto Instagram because I saw a lot of fun uh, questions on Instagram as well. I just got most of those questions from Twitter. So now let's look over here. Look on the Insta. Whoop whoop. Any new Netflix recommendations? Yes! The Keepers. The Keepers. Yes. Although it's really gross. And if you. It's really dark and upsetting. It's very gross and dark. And if you don't like. If you're looking for a lighthearted uh, summer flick. Rom com. That's, That's not it. That's definitely not it. But it's good. It's powerful. It makes you go like, we should question the authorities in our country and in religion and in all areas of life. It's but it's very. I'll use the word triggering. Triggering. But it's also I think very important, and you should watch it. It's, it it revolves around the it's murder very, of a nun. Gripping. Yes, it revolves around the murder of a nun. It is very gripping, and it's a very good show. Um, on a lighter note. I really love Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt and Dear White People was so good. I binged the whole first season in like two seconds. We also, she's not telling you the truth about the other thing we watched because we watched it, didn't we? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I don't know. No! Oh my god, we are not fessing up to the fact that we watched Riverdale. So, um. Ew. We watched the first episode in LA, didn't we? Yeah. It was the first episode and I was like, like, well, that was shit. We're never watching that again. Yeah, and so we were like, nah, we're not really about that. And then I was like, I'm just gonna watch the second episode, like six months later, so I did. And I was like, actually, we're gonna keep watching like, yeah. It's wayward, it's like wayward pines all over again. We like started watching shows that we think are really shitty, but we can't stop watching them. Like Riverdale actually, Riverdale I like because it's kind of like camp. Be humor almost. The characters make yeah. no sense. They make no it's sense. It's like a soap opera, isn't it? Yeah, it's like they just don't make sense. But like I loved Cole Sprouse in it. I thought he was so cute. I loved Jughead. I liked a lot of the other characters. But some of them were just like so ridiculous I couldn't handle it. Like all the parents were such like teenage versions of what, what teenagers think parents are. Like so unreasonable. Having like yeah, these weird- Yeah, so, they have so many problems. Yeah. And also like there was just- there are so many things they try and hide in the show, which really pisses me off. Yeah. So the whole like, incest thing. Oh, am I allowed to say that? Is that a spoiler? How was your first date? It was good. It took a really long time to get there. Yeah, I mean, I think you've done this, Dad. Maybe we've told this story. I don't know if we've talked about our first date before. I'm not sure if we have or not. Will was actually a little bit late because of tube stuff. Was I? Yeah, you were a little bit late. You were like 30 minutes late. I don't think I was that late. I think I was like five minutes late. Well, I had managed to have a second glass of wine by the time you got there. But you can so. knock him back, sweetie. <laughs> He's calling me out! You're my gosh. Aww. The song that reminds you of your relationship. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. Great. No, gross. That's gross. Um, what is it? I don't know. What's the song that we really like together? We have we like a lot of songs together. Yeah, 
Actually, Frank Ocean's newest album always reminds me of you because we went on vacation together when that was playing. Yes. It's so like, and anything that Tom Rosenfeld did. Anytime I hear a Tom song, I always think of you. That's cute. That's true. I do. Thanks, Tom. I think I said it before, but Beirut. Yeah, because Beirut's like a band du, that I love. Du, 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 du. That's Beirut, right? Oh, Def Cab? Def Cab. You like Rihanna. You love Rihanna. Arden loves, fucking loves Rihanna. I mean, everyone what? loves everyone, what? everyone loves Rihanna, but I feel like- You calling me out? I feel this like- consideration was the bottom of the century. <laughs> I feel like when I'm like looking at like recently played stuff, it's just like Rihanna. When he's out of town, we're both out of town, we can see what each other are playing on Spotify. Like, cause I listen to music constantly in the car when I'm driving around. And I'm sure you see quite a lot of gross stuff, but Rihanna is not one of them. Rihanna? No, I love Rihanna though. Yeah, Rihanna's great. She's a babe. Yeah, she's super cute. How do I ask someone I like out? We'll do what I did and try and keep asking her out until she says yes. Yay! The way to ask someone out is, is just to ask them out. Yeah. Yeah, the way, the way that you feel comfortable doing it. I don't think there's a really like a specific a concrete way. way no. Of doing it. Exactly, because like, how do you know this person? Are they people that go to your school? You know, because then in that case, ask them out after school. Are they people that are, you know, that you see at your local chess tournaments? Then ask them out over a quick game of chess. You know what I mean? It's like, you can never answer that question because there's no coverall. It's just like, work with the yeah. situation you have. No, what up? Slip it into conversation. You want to hang out with me outside of this? Thank establishment, you. then. So, that's it. That's what you gotta do. That's Arden's way of doing it. Uh -huh. I don't, I don't know. Who is the clumsiest? I think we all answer this question. You just stubbed your toe. I stub my toe on this all the time. <laughs> Arden falls over a lot. Do I? Yeah. Which is funny because I'm also the most like flexible athletic one, so. What does that tell you? Definitely. You're definitely the most flexible one because you do yoga. I do yoga. But <laughs> you're still very clumsy. The other day, I know what you're referring to. You can just come out and say it. I fell on my ass. Arden went up some stairs. Which they're steep. They're very steep stairs. They're shallow okay. stairs. Yeah, she went you have up. to be careful. You have she, to put your foot sideways. Okay, no one else is falling down. <laughs> she went up these stairs. So critical. Came back down these stairs and then slid down, basically. Well, okay, from your perspective, what did you hear? That's a little squeal. Just like a squeak. Why did you know, because I was sitting like that, so I saw you just like fall on your ass. I started sliding because they're carpeted stairs. You know when you lose your footing, you start to slide. I grabbed the banister because I was gonna, you know, help myself. And then it was like in a cartoon, my hand like burned all the way down. I pulled my shoulder all the way back and still fell on my ass. But you've done that. I thought you fall over quite a bit recently. What? Well, well Arden went through a stage, and I think she's still going through the stage where she thinks she can skateboard. Uh, and thanks. We're gonna wrap this video by talking about a little project me and Arden have been working on for the last couple of weeks. Forever. Now we have two months of episodes down. Really? We have eight episodes. Wow. Something close to that. Um, we have been doing Crash on My Couch for a while, and you guys have known about it, but if you like us doing these sorts of conversations, like we're doing right now in yeah. this video, yeah. that's what we do every week on the podcast. So if you want to listen to us goofing and gabbing about things. Yeah, we're talking about everything. Nothing's off limits. Nothing's off there's limits. There's treasure hunts. Yeah. There's conspiracies. Nazis. There's Nazis. There's aliens. Aliens. There's current world climates. Stuff. And then sexy stuff. There's, there's sexy stuff, and then there's stuff where we're just being cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you should go listen to it if you want. Absolutely. Like it. The link will be in the description, <laughs> as always. And you right below the link to Squillian's video. Yes. And um, then you can uh, check that out and uh, let us know what you think. Yeah. It'd be good to have more people on board with the Crash of My Cow. Hanging out. I mean, we already have, we have over 100,000 listeners that <gasps> listen to our podcast, which is crazy. Crickety, crickety, crazy. crazy. Um, <sighs> gross. So if, you, <laughs> so if you want that, like anybody wants more yeah, of that. If you want to wake up in the morning and just listen to that. And you can. Then there you go. We do every day and obviously we're very happy people. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out Crash My Couch and Will's video, link in the description. We'll see you guys later. Bye.